All right, we are continuing with measurement. We did this the other day. We were working on ounces, pounds, and tons. So we're going to be continuing that today. All right, our objective states, today we will be able to identify different types of measurement. We will also be able to identify which unit of measurement would be the most appropriate to use on various objects. We use ounces to measure small things like a paper clip. Remember that an ounce um, we stated before as a slice of bread, one slice of bread. We use pounds to measure medium sized things such as a dog. And then remember that one pound from last week we said would be a loaf of bread. So we're going to click on the following items that we could use ounces to measure. Okay, so let's look at the cement truck. I know a cement truck is very large and weighs quite a bit. So ounces would not be used to measure the cement truck. An office chair. Now I know it's not extremely heavy, but I know that it's heavier than ounces. So I'm gonna say no for the office chair as well. Wedding rings, what do you think about wedding rings? I'm gonna say that they are light enough to not be pounds or tons. So I'm gonna say yes to wedding rings for ounces. A paper clip is definitely pretty light. So I'm gonna say yes to that for ounces. Hopefully you're agreeing with me on all of these items. What about a feather? What would you say for the feather? I would say yes, because it's pretty light. Uh, what about this dog? I would say probably not, because a dog weighs too much, even if it's a small one. A tired troll. Um, that tired troll is looking pretty hefty, so he is going to weigh a lot. So I'm going to say no. And then the piece of candy. A piece of candy is pretty light, so I'm going to say yes. So hopefully you agreed with me on those. Let's move on to pounds. So we're gonna click on the following items if we would use it, um, if we would use pounds to measure it. Okay, so the box. It does look fairly heavy, but I would still say that we would use pounds, so I'm gonna say yes. Um, the chair, so it's not the man and the chair, it's just the chair. Yeah, even though it's a small chair, I'm pretty sure we would still use pounds. So I'm going to say yes. A cat. Even if it's a small cat, we're not going to use ounces. And tons is going to be too big, so I'm going to say yes to the cat. A toy truck. Well, ounces would be not enough. Tons would be too much, so I'm going to say yes. A beetle. A beetle usually doesn't weigh very much, so I'm going to say no. A feather, we just did that for ounces, so I'm gonna say no. A semi-truck trailer it is gonna weigh so much. It is way too much for pounds. It should be tons, so I'm gonna say no. And the same thing with a dump truck. It's gonna weigh way, way, way too much. So it's too much for pounds, so I'm gonna say no. So hopefully you agreed with me on all of those. Now we're gonna be moving on to tons. So we're gonna click on the following items if we would use tons to measure it. Okay, and some of these items you've already seen. So a fire truck, definitely. So I'm gonna say yes, the fire truck weighs a lot. A killer whale, they're huge. So definitely I'm gonna say yes. A piece of candy, we did for ounces already. So we already know that answer, the answer is no. Moving down, a dog, we already did, and he is pounds. So I'm gonna say no. A piece of paper, a piece of paper does not weigh hardly anything. So I'm gonna say no, because that should be ounces. A dump truck weighs a lot, and we just said no to pounds, so that means it has to be tons, so I'm gonna say yes. A man, well, when we weigh people, we use pounds, so I'm gonna say no. And an airplane, airplanes are huge. So I'm gonna say yes. So hopefully you agreed with me on all of those, on uh, what you would use to measure tons with.
All right, for this next one, we're gonna be doing a little bit of everything. Okay, so there's quite a few pictures on here, but at the very bottom, you'll see a T for tons, you'll see LB for pounds, and you'll see OZ for ounces, and we need to drag and put it next to all of these items for which one it goes with. Okay, so we're gonna be labeling them. So it says, what would you use to measure these if they were full size? So even though they're tiny little pictures, we need to think of them as full size, whatever they are. So this one is a dinosaur. So we need to think of it as a full size dinosaur. So what would we use? Tons, pounds, or ounces? For sure, we should go with tons. Dinosaurs weigh a lot. A tiger. Now tigers are large, but they're definitely not as large as the dinosaur. So I'm gonna say pounds for that one. Hopefully you are agreeing with me. Um, a playing card, now this is just one. One playing card, it's not a deck of cards, it's just one. I know that they are very light, so I'm gonna go with ounces. A thing of popcorn, a container of popcorn. Okay, it's still not very heavy but it's probably heavier than ounces. So I'm gonna put pounds. Is it close enough? Yep, it is. Okay, a rhino, oh my gosh. They weigh a lot, a lot more than the tiger does. Pretty close to the dinosaur. So I'm gonna to put tons for that one. Now candy, there's only three pieces here. It does not weigh very much. So I'm gonna put ounces. Pounds would be like a whole bag of candy. And then a mother is a human being, and how do we weigh ourselves? That is correct, we use pounds. Okay, so hopefully you were right on with me and a green. Okay, here, now there's a typo at the top for the directions. It says click on the appropriate length for each item and it should say weight. Okay, but I did not make this. So the cement truck. Now remember, a cement truck is very big. Four pounds would only be four loaves of bread. Definitely not, so I'm gonna say four tons. Yes, we got it right. Is it gonna take me back? Uh, I guess not. Okay, a gallon of milk. Eight ounces, that's hardly anything, but eight pounds? Okay, this one's kind of tricky. Eight ounces, eight pounds. I'm gonna say eight pounds. Good, we were right. Okay, a tennis ball. The tennis ball doesn't weigh very much. 12 pounds is gonna be way too much. So I'm gonna go with 12 ounces. So that would be like 12 um, slices of bread. Good. Okay, a fourth grader. That'd be basically you all, because you're almost four, a uh, fourth grader. 70 ounces would be 70 slices of bread, which is not enough. So most of you are probably gonna be around 70 pounds. Some of you might be a little bit under that, and some of you might be over that. Okay, a T-Rex, so a dinosaur. Five pounds, yeah, right. That's not even what Tuck weighs. Tuck weighs 12 pounds and he's so little, so definitely five tons has to be the dinosaur. And then a pen. Well, I know that there's no way I'm gonna be writing with a three pound pen. That would be so heavy. So three ounces. Okay, we got them all right. So let's move on to the next slide. It's still going to be the same um, type of thing, just with different items. Okay, now remember at the top, it's supposed to say weight and not length for the directions. So let's think about a baby. A baby seven tons? Oh no. A baby, I mean, they do weigh a decent amount, but they don't weigh anywhere near tons, especially if we don't weigh tons as adults. So we're gonna go with seven pounds. Okay, a safety pen. That hardly weighs anything, so I'm gonna go with one ounce. A bag of flour, definitely more than five ounces. A bag of flour is pounds, so yep, five pounds. And a car, a car weighs a lot, so it's not gonna be 100 pounds. 100 pounds, I weigh more than 100 pounds, so it has to be one ton. A handful of feathers, it's not gonna weigh very much, so I'm gonna go with five ounces. 
They are very light, even with a handful of them. And um, a dog. So it says 50 ounces or 50 pounds. Well, peach weighs 50, 51 pounds. So I'm going to go with 50 pounds. Okay. So move on to the next slide. Okay. So what did we learn today? Today we learned how to identify different types of measurement. We also learned to identify which unit of measurement would be the most appropriate to use on various objects. All right, so now it is your turn to do your work back in Google Classroom. All right, see you later.